Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to modify your home network to make it better, efficient, and have better control your network traffic. This is typical your network topology. We have ISP home Wi-Fi router to connect to internet. You will have a switch and the LAN all of your network devices either through wired connection, either through wireless connection, directly connect to your Wi-Fi router and go to the internet. It works well, but we can make it better in the easiest way, which is you don't need to change your existing topology. We just need to install a bypass router using open source OpenWRT this software to do bypass routing. What it is doing is all your network devices will point into OpenWRT this virtual machine and then the traffic will be rerouted to your existing home Wi-Fi router and then go to the internet. With OpenWRT you can do much more control using all kinds of packages, plugins. For example, you can install the ad blocking plugin. You can have reporting. You can have detailed whitelisting, category listing, URL filtering, and firewall control on your OpenWRT, which you won't be able to do it on your ISP home Wi-Fi router. Let's start it. In the market, they already have other software such as iQuai and this crucial package available to install on your either virtual machine or either physical machine acting as software router. This function similar as OpenWRT. But actually, those software are based on OpenWRT project. We don't have to try the software. We can directly go to OpenWRT website and start into downloading, install those packages by our own. If you search OpenWRT on VMware How To, you will find this web page. We don't have to even combine it. This already have installing steps and uh, OVA package available for you to download it. We can find the latest one, which is 19.0.7, this version. And OVA also is available for us to download as well from Dropbox. It's only 80 Mac. So we can directly launch it in our VMware workstation. This is my VMware workstation. Click file, open, point to the downloaded folder, desktop, then we can directly open WRT OVA file. And it's gonna go through importing process. They're asking where would you to save it. Yeah, we can save it to this folder. It's gonna import in. Um, only 80 mag it shouldn't take that long uh, you can see the ID if it's 256 megabyte memory is 1 gigabyte processor is 1 processor which is more than enough network adapter is automatically set to the bridge that's it then we can power on the machine Just enter. You can see the interface PR-LAN on Ethernet 0 entered the blocking state and then immediately went to disabled status and then changed to promiscuous mode. That is a zero nick link is up. 
at one gig bps for duplex. You can press enter and go into this folder. There's a couple things you may want to check. Interface IP, you got me already using DHCP automatically in this uh, VM. So it's 192.168.2.1081. We're going to try that. Gonna use HTTP. So there's no password. You can see the network interface has using as a DHCP client. We're gonna change it based on topology. We're gonna change it to top four. That's the first thing we need to do. We're gonna use in static IP. Switch protocol, IP address. Make sure it's not conflicting with any other IP you set up in your network. Network mask. And the gateway is important, you can set it to the one. We need to use a DNS server, we can use a public one. And a Cloudflare one, so one is for from Google public DNS, one is from Cloudflare. We don't need to set up IPv6, save. So we need to save again, save and apply. Now we need to change IP to dot four. Login, we didn't set up our root IP yet. So it's gonna be using default empty. The basic setting has been completed. What we need to do is we need to find out uh, one of a test machine and test for it. You can see the system software. We don't have any package installed yet. It's gonna use an OPKG upgrade command and then get a list after we have list we can install it or we can download offline package and then upload here to install it here we should work It seems like the downloading failed here. It failed downloading the package list. We're gonna fix that later on. We may need to reboot our machine to make sure everything working well after we change the IP. System has been rebooted. Um, we can log in again. One thing we need to check is a static route. We need to add uh, one route to internet target will be all internet route will be going to our gateway to the one we can do this We 
we are applying a configuration applied. So we are trying to pin gateway, which is fine. But when we try to pin internet, it wasn't fine. So after we added route, that's a global route, it works well now. We can pin internet. Next thing we're going to check the software package. We're going to do update list. Now it's downloading. You can see those packages available. There's tons of them. There's a seven thousand package, seven seventy eight hundred sixty three packages available. That gonna give us lots of fun here. One thing we are trying to do is we are gonna check, make sure our computer from same network they can use our open WRT this IP to go to the internet. So let's uh, log in and give it a try. This is a Win10 machine running in the same network. We're gonna change the IP and then point to gateway to top four, not top one. We can change the adapter settings. Let's look at IP address. Right now it's one six two. And the gateway is two point one. We can change it to. One eight one six eight two dot four. We're gonna use internet public DNS. Now, okay. Yes, we want it to be discoverable. We can do tracer to see how the traffic runs. So the first hot should be dot four one nine two one sixteen. Yes, we set it up. Then second hop is dot one. Then it's go to the ISP cloud until to internet and reach your destination. So we can try if it go to internet now. It's not problem. So with this basic setting right now, we are using So by looking at the top bridge again, with these basic settings, we are using OpenWRT as bypassing router to control the traffic or your home network traffic going to open WRT first, then being forward to your Wi-Fi router to go to the internet. Keep tuned, see you in next video.